Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the pump assembly on your dishwasher and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, a pair of slip joint pliers, and maybe an adjustable wrench. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair we will need to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets. So our first step will be to turn off the power supply, so locate the electrical panel, pull the appropriate fuse or turn off the appropriate breaker. We'll also need to turn off the inlet water supply to the dishwasher. Once we've done that, we can then disconnect the mounting tabs at the front of the dishwasher that connect to the bottom of your countertop. We'll then need to take the lower access panel off where we can disconnect the electrical supply, disconnect the inlet water supply, and also disconnect the drain hose from the pump. Now with the dishwasher removed from the cabinets, our next step will be to remove all the items in the dishwasher as well as the racks. So we'll simply take our bottom rack out, we'll set that aside, we'll need to remove the rack stops. Now to remove this style of rack stop, simply push up in this tab on the outside or press down on the inside to release that plastic lock tab and just pivot it towards the center and remove it. We can then remove the rack. Pull the rack completely out, set it aside. And then just push the rails back in. We'll next need to take the bottom spray arm off. So while holding the spray arm, we'll turn that center retaining nut clockwise to release it. Then we can lift that off. Now next we'll need to remove the manifold from the base of the tub all the way up to the top. Now there are two spring clips that hold that in place, one at the top and one at the center on the back. So we'll simply depress that mounting tab or clip, release it, and the same in the center. Now once we've released both of those clips, we can then rotate that whole assembly clockwise about an eighth of a turn until the center hub lines up with the openings. Then carefully lift it off. Remove the whole assembly, set it aside. And next we'll take the center spray arm bearing and washer off and set those aside. Now next we can close the dishwasher up and then we'll lay it on its back so that we can remove the pump from the bottom. Now with the dishwasher laid carefully on its back, we're next going to remove that drain hose and there may be some water in that pump, so be prepared to collect that water. We'll take our pliers, we're just going to squeeze that clamp, pull the clamp up onto the hose, and then just wiggle that hose to remove it. And then tuck that out of the way. Now to remove the drain pump motor, we'll need to release that little locking tab that is pointed towards the front of the dishwasher. So with our flat blade screwdriver, just gently push on that, rotate the pump counterclockwise, Remove it, and you can also disconnect the wire harness connector to that pump so that we can set it aside. Just to press the locking tab while pulling up on the harness. And set that pump aside. We'll need to disconnect the sensor. So just turn it counterclockwise. Pull it out of the opening on the bottom of the tub, and again, there may be some water in that pump. You'll need to be able to collect that. We also have a harness connector to the motor on the pump. Just depress the two locking saw. We also have a wire harness connector to the pump motor. Just depress the two locking tabs on the side of that connector and pull it off. Now the pump is held in place with three plastic wedges. We'll need to remove those next. So just grasp them and pull them out. Now with those removed, we can next stand the dishwasher back up again, and then we'll take that pump out 
through from the inside of the tub. Before we do that, we'll just give it a little bump. Break that gasket free from the bottom of the tub. And then stand it up and remove it. So we'll just carefully open that door up again. And then we'll lift the pump out. And then we can discard it. Now when installing the new pump, we want to make sure that we have this locating tab pointed towards the front of the tub. So again, we'll carefully open that door up, making sure that the dishwasher doesn't tilt forward on us. We'll also need to clean the area that the pump seal will meet with the bottom of the tub. And if yours is a stainless steel tub model like this, use caution around that edge because it may be very sharp. Once we've got that clean, We'll line up that tab towards the front where there is a slotted opening in the base of the tub. And then center that pump assembly as best you can from the inside of the tub so that it sits evenly all the way around. And once we have it flush all the way around, we can close that door up again and then we'll install the wedges from the bottom. Now next we'll put the wedges back in place and put the rubber side against the bottom of the tub. Put the one in from the back side of the pump. And then the one on the left side. Make sure they all fit in firmly. And if you're having trouble with any of them, the pump may have shifted in the base of the tub. You'll need to stand the dishwasher up and again push it in flush so that it sits evenly all the way around. Now once we've got all of those wedges in, we can then go ahead and install the sensor into the body of the pump. Taking note of the two locating tabs, one is larger than the other, and it corresponds with the two notches in the pump body. Make sure that gasket is clean and moisten it if you wish, just with a little bit of detergent or water. Press it firmly into place and then give it about a quarter of a turn clockwise. And then put the pump motor into the pump body. And again, we'll make sure that that surface is clean. You can moisten it a bit. Next, we'll reinstall the drain pump. And again, we'll make sure that that gasket is nice and clean and in position. And we're going to set that pump so that the tabs will engage, press it firmly up against the main pump body, rotate it clockwise until the locking tab engages. We'll reinstall the wire harness connector. And make sure that locking tab engages on that. Reconnect the harness to the motor. And again, make sure that the locking tabs engage on both sides. We can then reconnect the drain hose to the outlet of the pump. Make sure it's firmly seated right to the bottom. Take our pliers, reposition that clamp. Now that we have the pump firmly into the tub, we'll start the reassembly procedure. We'll start by putting the lower spray arm bearing and house it into the pump. So just set that in, make sure that that nylon washer is in place. And then we're going to reinstall the manifold. We'll start by tucking that into the right rear corner and then we're going to center that housing over that 
spray arm bearing. Rotate that enough so that the tabs will line up. Press it firmly down into place. And then we're going to rotate it counterclockwise so that the manifold locks into the top of the pump. And once we have that done, we'll need to depress this mounting tab that's at the top as well as the one located at the center on the back. Now the one on the top will engage that manifold right in this position here. And the one at the back of the tub will fit directly in the center. Make sure both sides are engaged. And the same with the top. Make sure they're firmly in place. On this, we'll put the bottom spray arm in. Center it and then turn that not counterclockwise to make sure it turns freely. And now we can go ahead and put the racks in. We'll now put the racks back in. Install the upper one. We'll just pull those rails fully out. And we'll engage the rear wheels of the top rack first. Slide the rack back in out of the way. Now to install this style of rack stop, we'll put this closed portion towards the inside. And the open portion will face towards the outside. Now we have these two tabs that will fit into these slots. Make sure it's firmly pressed up against that rail. And then depress that tab until it clips over the edge and lays flat. And then do the same on the opposite side. Press the racks firmly in. We can now put our lower access panel on. Just tuck it up into position. Line it up with the openings for the screw holes and then reattach them. Now that we have the lower access panel back on, our repair is complete.